Welcome back to the Michigan Business Speed, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here. And we are at the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, and we're here for the uh, Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference. And uh, I, I would tell you at the base of this, uh, education is one of those things we look at all over. And so Jack Elsley is with us. And uh, Jack, I'm I'm going to read this so I don't get it wrong. So, yeah. Michigan Educator Workforce Initiative supporting the talent together initiative you must have the biggest business card in the western hemisphere That's pretty long it yeah downsize <laughs> could you streamline this for me a little bit sure. who are who are so uh the michigan educator workforce initiative was created in 2022 uh to address one of michigan's most significant needs which is the educator workforce right. uh for the last decade or so we've had one of the biggest teacher shortages in the country we had a 66% drop in enrollment in traditional education schools, for instance, over that period of time, uh, and a pretty high attrition rate from those programs. And so we were um, launched a couple of years ago to work closely with district leaders and, and superintendents and schools all around the state uh, to attract and retain teachers and educators all across the state and try to meet that need. Uh, and one of the programs that we uh, founded in partnership with 56 intermediate school districts across the state was this program called Talent Together, which has quickly become one of the largest grow your own programs in the country. Wow. Okay. So a couple of things. First of all, we have um, not only a shortage, but we have a shortage of paying people who are in one of the one of the most difficult industries there is, which is education, we're still at the lo the lower end of compensation for teachers in the United States. And the second is, I've always said this, it's the way we compensate. There's no one as overpaid as a bad teacher or as underpaid as a good one. Um, anything along those lines that you're working on? Yeah, I mean, we think compensation is an enormous part of the equation. Uh, obviously, uh, when you look at, uh, there was a recent report issued by EPIC, the research outfit that does education research at Michigan State University. And they said, essentially, if teachers were getting paid now what they were getting paid in the 1990s, they'd be making an average of $90,000 a year. They're making an average of $60,000 a year currently across the state. So from a sheer buying power perspective, we're not showing our teachers really what we owe them or what we, you know, how we value them. Um what we're also working on, though, are ways to make the teaching profession more viable, to make it seem like that sort of 30-year career that maybe it once was, uh, again, for the next generation of teachers. One of the interesting things we've launched, in addition to Talent Together, uh, is, uh, is thinking about how to redesign the teacher role altogether. What would it look like, for instance, if you had, instead of 30 kids for every teacher, you had... 150 kids for five teachers and they work together as a team and they group kids differently and they got to live into their expertise as an excellent, you know, reading teacher or an excellent math teacher and work with all of the kids. And what we found from districts that have done this, for, for instance, in Arizona is the teachers are staying longer. They're, um, they don't require substitute teachers. Uh, students are performing better parents are happier and the teachers themselves are happier. The districts report that the teachers require fewer mental health supports in the in the instances where they're team teaching because they feel more fulfilled. They feel part of a community. So certainly compensation is important, but there are other elements that we're hoping to bring to the table to address that. No, you're absolutely right. And if you can track it in success of the student, that is a huge Absolutely. Thing. Absolutely. All right. So how are you guys funded? Uh, we are funded mostly from state funding. Uh, the legislature allocated uh, uh, funding both for the Michigan Educated Workforce Initiative last July and also Talent Together. Um, and and uh, we're hoping to continue that that support from the state going forward. We also have some additional outside funding from some major national education funders. OK, so next steps. Where are you going now? Well, we're going to uh, expand talent together. So uh, we're really excited. We we had last spring for the first cohort, we had 1,500 applicants. We accepted about 900 folks uh, who were in pathways all across the state uh, to, to become teachers. This year, we had 2,700 applications, and we accepted uh, around 550 folks. But we're hoping with additional legislative funding, uh, we're hoping that we can take a lot more folks off the waiting list and make sure more kids have a great teacher in front of them every day. Well, I, I'll tell you what, this teacher shortage scares me. And um, I have to say, we still we still have to find a way, and maybe it's this team approach, 
to incentivize good teachers be good teachers uh, and not have to look across the pay scale and say, well, the guy who runs a movie every day is making the same amount of money. Well, I'll tell you one of the elements, there's a, there's a cycle right now in the midst of the teacher shortage where we find folks who have bachelor's degrees and we put them into classrooms without a whole lot of training or support. And, and, and of course, that happens because there is such an urgent need. But part of what Talent Together is bringing to the table is a registered apprenticeship component. Every one of our participants does a full year under a mentor teacher before they get their own classroom. So they get a real year-long experience in a classroom. They know from from a and guidance from a teacher who has been doing this for years and can show them the ropes so that when they take on their classroom, they don't have to resort to some of the tactics new teachers resort to and they feel successful. Give me through one more game. Yeah, that's no, right. That's right. Jack Elsley, I, I love what you're doing. Thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. And Jack, of course, is the founder of the Michigan Educator Workforce Initiative, supporting the Talent Together Initiative. Thanks for being with us, bud. Thank you. Appreciate it. We are coming to you from the Grand Hotel, where we are attending the uh, Greater Detroit Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference. I'm Chris Holman. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. 